ago, this is Nick Bravo, and I'm a self-proclaimed hero. I want people to see me as a hero. You see, there was a situation with um, my friend, Sabella, my personal J-dubs, K-dubs, and she had a problem with her racist husband. And, well, I'm racist too, so I shouldn't say nothing but about that. But about her husband, and I put myself in there, which, you know, and now I'm the hero. Even though nothing would have changed with what I did anyway, but... I'm going to self-proclaim I'm the hero. I saved the day. I want people to acknowledge that. And then tell, and I want Sabella to look up to me as being the one who's helping her. I know she thinks she's helping me, but I'm actually helping her. And that's, you know, that's what I want to say about that. Now, I want to expose a Darren, or um, Black Onion. I want to explode, expose Blue, and Logical and Plur Purist, and Salami Nugget, and Bernie Revolver, and Pearl Eaton, and Hung Low, and, and all these people, and all my mirrors, and all these people who... who Expose the truth about me. I want to expose them as slanderous. When you talk about me and it's something I don't like, that's slander. Regardless if it's true or not, it's slander because I don't like it. It hurts my feelings. It causes me butt hurt. And when you cause somebody butt hurt, that is <sighs> slander. That's outright slander. Cause me butt hurt with the truth is slander. Um, I do not know the definition of meaning. Means I can read these books behind me here, but I don't even know what they say. I, I just have the books there so that people will think I'm smart. <clears throat> yes, that's why I have the books. It's a way for me to flex my micro penis. And you see, and all these people talk about me. It's the reason I'm a failure and a criminal. Well, I'm not a criminal, they are. But it's the reason I committed a felony. Oh, I'm not a felony. They are felons. And, um, you know, it's the reason that I can't get a job, see? I don't want an entry-level job. I want to start off as a lawyer without an education of that. Because I got books. I want to be an actor. And I should, by rights, be an actor and a comedian, even though I've never done any comedy work. I want to, people to think that I'm a stand-up comedian. I want people to laugh at the incoherent things that I say. And, you know, that's, that's, just, that's just me. See, I just spazzed out there. That's my comedy routine. I will talk normally and spaz out like that. <clears throat> but because of the trolls, these haters, playing back my stuff, and then people do Google searches and find me in there, that's why I can't get a job as the CEO of a business. That's why I can't get a job that pays... 100000 a year, 200000 You know, that's what I deserve. I don't need an entry-level job. I'm above a dishwasher, a ditch digger, a truck driver. You know, those things are beneath me. But I can't get the jobs that I need, that I want, because of the trolls' videos. Has nothing to do with my felony conviction. Has nothing to do with my huge bench warrant out there. It has nothing to do with anything other than their videos about me on YouTube. You see, before these uh, big-shot employers check out my background, they're going to look at YouTube first. And when they look on YouTube and they see, oh, Nick doing these horrible things that he actually did, well then, they're not going to hire me. And whose fault is that? It's your guys' fault. That's right. Logical and purist, you're not a libertarian. You know why? Because libertarians don't cause people butthurt. And I've been massively butthurt. So, I'm a libertarian because I think it's cool to be called one. Even though I have no idea what a libertarian is or anything like that. I'm going to use that term because I like it. I use a lot of terms I don't even know the meaning of. You know, like, Calvinists, and, you know, all these words that I use that I don't know what the meaning of. I will accuse people of being criminals and criminally minded when I don't even realize that I have a criminal mind. I will generalize all atheists, make videos about atheists, smearing them, and then when they come after me, I play victim. I talk about evolutionary biology, but I don't know what that is. I talk about status, but I don't know what that is. I call people nihilists, but I don't know what that is. I, I say, might makes right. But I don't even know what that means. I will call somebody a narcissist, not knowing what a narcissist is, and not realizing that I am a textbook case for narcissism. I will accuse people of slander, even though all the things they say about me is true. I will use the term logic, reason, and evidence, but never use any of those things when I quote things. I just never do. I, I don't even know what it means. I will use that's reality. I say that often, even though I live in a fantasy world. And I'll say that I'm a man of good conscience and good character. I repeat that all over and over and over. Hopefully someone might believe me. I don't even know what that entails. I am so far removed from being of good conscience and good character that I couldn't even describe it to you. I, I talk about bureaucrats. I don't know, I like that word. It makes me sound smart. Or creator bean. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> but I like to use it because it's in the books that I read. See, I have all these books. I got all kinds of books. Not that I know what's in them. Not that I understand what's in them. But that's not important. The, the point is you have them. I have these books. And that's what makes me superior to all of you people. 
I am so superior to anybody else on YouTube. It's not even funny. You know? I am so, so superior to Sherlock Holmes. I am so superior to Salami Nugget. And I'm superior to Blue, to the Black Onion, to Hung Young, and Pearl Eaton. I am absolutely the most superior being. I sometimes consider myself Jesus Christ. Yes. You think it's Chris Chan? It's me. Chris Chan is the false Christ. I am the real Christ. Get that through your freaking head. You people are preventing me from being a famous actor, a famous writer. I know you have to get off your ass and actually write something to be famous, to be a writer. But see, I'm already assuming I'm going to be a famous writer even though I haven't even finished my book yet. I don't even know what the book's about and I'm halfway through it. But anyway, um, you know, that's besides the point. I should be rich and famous. I should have a car and respect. Uh, Black Onion says you have to earn respect. That's bullshit. I shouldn't have to earn anything because I'm more specialer than you are. See, you're not as special as I am. You have to work for what you got. I shouldn't have to. I should have to have it all given to me. And you guys are bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Yes, I stole money from Eleanor's family. But Eleanor was dead. And I'd give a shit about her family. Then I tried to steal from that Mexican family. What the hell does a Mexican have property for when a white American doesn't? See, I deserve it because I'm white. And they're Mexican. They don't deserve to have property. They need to go out to work in the ditches. And do those jobs that I don't want to do. That's what they're here for. But no, 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 no. The trolls say all the shit. And it's a bunch of shit anyway. Fuck you, trolls. You know, I should come over there, crawl into your bed, and fucking kill you in the middle of the night or something. Yeah, and women should fuck me just because I'm so important. I don't know why they don't. I've been waiting here for I don't know how many years, and not one woman's come in here and just, you know, fuck me right where I stood. Well, maybe it's because I'm not that into women, but who knows to say. You know, I set the standards high for women, like like I show supermodels, these are the women I want. And in reality, I set the standard up so high because I really don't want a woman. I like gay guys. That's why 